Feast of the Baptism of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end, her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up on to a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by a strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd he feeds his flock, in his arms he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom, and leading the ewes with care. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age, 
as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. When the kindness and generous love of God, our Savior, appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The people were filled with expectation, and all were asking in their hearts whether John might be the Christ. John answered them all, saying, I am baptizing you with water, but one mightier than I is coming. I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. The Baptism of the Lord There are two choices for the first reading. Both come from Deuteroisaiah. The first one is Isaiah 42, 1-4 and 6-7. This is one of the songs of the suffering servant. And in this song we hear that the servant is called the chosen one in whom God is well pleased, a phrase that we'll hear at the baptism of Jesus. This servant is able to enact justice in the world, not through violence, but rather by gentleness. And he is able to bring justice, not just to the people of Israel, but to the nations. Remember, the nations is a phrase used for the Gentiles. So this suffering servant will enact a justice which will have cosmic dimensions. The second choice for the first reading is Isaiah 40, 1 to 5, and 9 to 11. This is the very beginning of second Isaiah, chapters 40 to 55, a part of the book of the prophet Isaiah written during the Babylonian exile, 587 to 539 BC. And in this we hear that God is comforting his people. The people were living in exile, and they were wondering whether God had forgotten them and was punishing them, or whether God was impotent because Marduk, the god of the Babylonians, must have been more powerful than God because the Babylonians won. The response is that God is preparing a second exodus for them, an exodus that will be greater than the first one, and God will be like a shepherd taking care of his sheep. This is a favorite image of the prophets during the time of the exile. The people needed to know that God was caring for them. That image communicated that God cared for his people in a gentle manner. The first choice for the second reading is Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses 34 to 38. This is a passage which speaks about baptism in the house of Cornelius. Cornelius was a God-fearer, which means that he was a Gentile who honored Jewish ways but didn't become a Jew himself. He received the gift of the Holy Spirit, and because of that, Peter knew that he was to baptize him. So Peter speaks about the fact that John the Baptist baptized Jesus, who was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power. The second choice for the second reading is Titus 2, 11 to 14, and 3, 4 to 7. This is taken from one of the pastoral epistles, probably not written by Paul, but rather by one of his disciples. And this passage speaks about the fact that we're renewed in the Holy Spirit because we've received a baptism that has given us new life. Therefore, we should live in that new life. That our baptism is not simply to wash away our sins, but also to give us the possibility of living in a godly way. The Gospel is from Luke 3, 15 to 16 and 21 to 22. It speaks about the baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist. John proclaims that he's not worthy to loosen the thongs of Jesus' sandals. 
that Jesus is so much greater than he is. Nevertheless, John baptized Jesus. And when he did, the Holy Spirit descended in the form of a dove. Now in the Old Testament, the dove is not a symbol of peace. It's a symbol of love. Remember in the Song of Songs, you are my turtle dove. You have the eyes of a dove. The Holy Spirit is the love between the Father and the Son and their love for us. And that love is communicated in the Son. Furthermore, in this baptism, we see the Trinitarian dimensions of baptism. John the Baptist's baptism was simply a removal of sin, whereas Christian baptism means entrance into the life of the Trinity, that we're being invited to remain in God, not simply to know about Him, but to be part of who He is. And may God bless us.